Hello, welcome to the Moon Scarab channel. My name is Ramon. On this video, I want to share with you a new divination tool I created. It's a combination of an old tool and a new one. So there's a big gap of time between both, but now they're together with this. I present to you the Elder Futhark Rubik's Cube. It's a combination of divination capabilities with the randomness and configuration of this fun toy. Let's take a look. This is a 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. It's a new version of the makers of the original Rubik's Cube from the 80s, but a smaller version. So if you take it in today's context, yes, it's actually from this decade. So a 2x2 two two cube gives you 4 spaces on each face. 4 spaces times 6 size of the cube is 24, which is the amount of letters in the Elder Futhark rune system. Some rune sets have all 24, some have 25, which includes the blank rune known as the Odin rune. It was made with one of these Rubik's mini cubes. These don't have the stickers like the ones in the 80s. The colors are actually part of the plastic, so I painted the cube in gloss black. I designed the characters in Photoshop to the specific size of each of the spaces of the cube. I sent them to get professionally printed with a star's overlay, and this is how they look. How do I use this cube? So it's not necessary, but for precision and clarity, I use these two dice with the cube. One for vertical turns and one for horizontal turns. We start with the vertical turns. And then the horizontal turns. Once the turns on the cube are done, I treat the whole cube as a dice and I toss it. Then I read the face that lands up. I read it left to right like you're reading a book. If the own character is straight or sideways to the left side, I treat it as positive. If it's upside down or turned to the right side, I treat it as the opposite. In this case, So consider this, mathematically, the first space can fit any of these 24 rune characters, then 23 on a second space, any 22 on the third, and any of the other 21 on the fourth space. That makes a combination of over 255,000 possible combination of readings. Now, if you do reversals, the first space can have any 48 possible rune characters, straight or reverse combinations, the second 46, the third 44, and the fourth 42. That's over 4 million possible combinations of readings on this single cube. The possibilities are staggering. So I hope you enjoyed learning about this new divination tool and feel inspired to make your own. As always, thank you very much for watching and blessings to all. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and share it with someone who might benefit from it. And click the subscribe button for more future videos about tarot, divination and other esoteric topics.